Hello everyone, welcome to chapter 10, section 2, and this is about arcs and central angles, still dealing with circles. So the first thing we're going to talk about is four definitions. We're going to talk about arc, major arc, minor arc, and semicircle. And obviously you may already figure out what some of these are. First thing you do need to know is an arc is a portion of a circle. So for example, we're talking about the outside of a circle from A to B to D would mean I'm going this way. A, D, B would mean I'm going that way. So an arc in this circle is the red arc, A, B, and then there's the blue arc, and you can name that either A, D, B, or B, D, C, I'm sorry, B, D, A, and we'll talk about um, the naming of arcs and how it is very important. So a major arc, if you can imagine, is an arc that is larger than 180 degrees. So for example, A to D to B, the blue one would be a major arc. And a minor arc, obviously, would be an arc that's less than 180 degrees. And then, of course, we have our semicircle, which you probably figured out, is equals 180 degrees. What's really important about these arcs is the naming of the arcs. And one thing I just want to remind you, minor arcs are going to be named with two letters. Okay? And this is why if we look up at this circle and we, if I just said to you, oh, what's the measure of arc AB? Well, you wouldn't know if I mean AB this way or I mean AB all the way around that way. So that's why you have to know that minor arcs are two letters. Sometimes there's cases that if there's only a diameter being labeled, they may label the diameter with two letters. But major arcs have three letters. That's how we know which way to go around the circle. So for example, is it AD, ADB, or is it BDA that way? So major arcs will have three letters, minor arcs will have two letters, and a semicircle majority of the time will still have three letters, but once in a while if it's a picture with just a diameter like A and B, they may call it AB, but then obviously we would have to know that AB is a diameter. Okay, so once we know our arcs and our major arcs and minor arcs, we're able to find them um, using the letters. The next thing we need to know is a central angle, and a central angle is simply an angle whose vertex is the center of the circle. So in this case, the angle, the central angle in this problem, of course, would be angle ACB or BCA. What we also need to know is that the measure of that central angle, that ACB, this angle right here, this angle, is the same measure or degrees as arc AB. So you want to write that down. We want to know, um, one thing we say is keep it in your brain, central angles are the same. And we're going to have a lot of different angles inside our circle, so we want to make sure we keep in mind, keep it in your brain, central angle is the same. And so whatever that measure is of ACB is the same as the measure of arc AB. So let's look at examples. The rest are just examples. Um, so your best bet is going to pause the video at the example and then try the problem and then I will go over the answer quickly. Okay, so if I look at this circle, I see that it really basically has three out of four pieces of the circle. All of those um, angles, the 120, the 80, the 60, they're central angles. So I'm simply missing one other central angle. So if I take how much is in a circle, 360, and I subtract these values, it leaves me with 100 degrees. The other thing you want to relate that if they're central angles, um, then I know that this arc 60, I know this arc's 120, I know this arc's 80, I know this arc's 100. So when I go up here and it asks me for TQ, here's what you have to remember. Is it TQ this way or is it T all the way to Q? 
obviously only one of those answers is correct because TQ is a minor arc. So it's minor and its value is 120 degrees. QS again could either be do I go this way or do I go all the way around that way? Please remember when I'm asking about arcs, you have to follow the circle. You can't just cut through and say, oh, QS is that. So make sure you're going around this way or around that way. Obviously, because it has two letters, again, it's minor and its value is 160. Again, that seems like a lot, but it's less than 180. QRT now has three letters, so our chances are it's a major arc or it's a semicircle. So I'm going to take a look, and it ends up being Q to R all the way to T. So the way I'm going to look at it is it's everything in the circle but 120. So 360 minus 120, and that's 240, and that is major. TS is another minor arc at 80 degrees, and it's minor. TQR. So I'm going to go from T to Q to R. So TQR, you have to go in the orders of the letters. That's 180 degrees, and therefore it's semicircle. And RST is again everything underneath 180 and it's a semicircle. So that's really how you want to look at those problems and that's what we want to try. So go ahead and look at the next one and see if you can do that. Pause the video and I'll go over the answers quickly. Okay, well if we look at A, we know it's a minor arc. It has to be 100 and less, less than 180 degrees. So if I look at this one, that's the minor arc instead of going all the way around the circle. So I have 137 for that one. B, which is A, C, D, so that's just a little bit more. It's all the same. Oops, sorry. Yeah, A to C to D. And that one I have as 220. Then I have... 220. And then I have ADC. And ADC goes from here to here. Remember, you have to go around the circle. You can't cut through. So that's everything minus 108 and 29, if you wanted to do it that way, or add up 79, 61, and 83. And I think I got 223. And then EBD, um, remember it is going to be either a semicircle or a major arc because it has three letters. So I'm going to start at E, I'm going to go to B, and I'm going to go all the way around to D. So it's everything in the circle except for 61 degrees, so it's 99 degrees. All right. Pause the video, take a second. Um, one thing I'm going to remember, or um, one thing I'm going to remind you is that if you have these tick marks, that means those angles are, or angles or arcs are congruent. So no, you know, no matter where they are in the circle, they're congruent. And then one thing I do want to point out is normally if I put a dot in the center of a circle and you see a line, for example, E all the way through B, it is assumed that that's a diameter. So normally I will tell you in the directions, but it is okay to assume it's a diameter if it is going through the center of the circle. So you might need that to figure out this problem. So like I said, I'm going to take that this is a diameter, and under a diameter this is a, um, 180. So if I take away 180 minus 104, I'll get 76, and I take that answer, and I divide it by 2. That gets me 38 here and 38 here. This will obviously be 38. Z is a central angle, so it is the same angle as the arc that it intercepts. So that will put this here going to this arc, so Z is 38. 
y obviously is 38 and x over here is the upper half of the semicircle and so I only have 38 so it's 142. Okay, take a second, look at the clock. All right, so one thing we realize is a clock is a circle, 360 degrees in the circle. There's 12 numbers on a clock. So I'm going to take 360, I'm going to divide it by 12, and I'm going to realize there is 30 degrees between every consecutive number. So if I'm asking you from shorthand 8 all the way to 3 o'clock, then I'm going to go 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 80, 210. All right. So 210 degrees would be the arc from 8 to 3. Two more. Let's check them out. This one involves our right triangle. It tells you that um, it has a radius of 3. So I can put a 3 here. I can put a 3 here. That's a good indication that it's an isosceles triangle. But because I tell you this is 90 degrees, that make this a right isosceles triangle. So at this point, if I'm trying to find AB, then I'm going to use hypotenuse equals leg root 2. So I'm going to do 3, 3, and 3 root 2. You could also set up Pythagorean theorem. I'm sorry, x squared. That'll give you 9 and 9, um, 9, 9, which is 18 equals x squared. And then take the square root and break it down. And our last problem, go ahead, pause the video, take a second. So this problem kind of leans on the fact, again, that there is a dot. So that tells you that this is a diameter, and so is this. So if I was doing this, I'd try to find that this is a diameter, and above here is how much. So if I take 180 and minus 61, I get 119. I know there's vertical angles being involved here, so I could put 61 here because they are vertical, which tells me this diameter down here, if this is 61 here, then from here down to here would also have to be 119. So EC in this case, again, being a minor arc because it has two liners, is 119. So hopefully that's a good lesson and some problems on minor arcs um, major arcs, semicircles, and central angles, and picking up that the central angle is equals the arc it intercepts. All right, thanks.